as a fresh scheme for the derelict Burnbeck Pier. Businessman James Scott wants to encase the buildings on the end in a version of the Crystal Palace and reckons he can raise the £28 million to pay for it. Bob Constantine, ITV West News, Western Supermare. Now, he drives a Lamborghini, among other cars. <laughs> his working life as a carpenter. James Scott has made his money out of property development and is now turning his attention to his hometown of Western Supermare. He's bought the derelict Burnbeck Pier and today announced plans not only to restore it but to create a leisure complex at the end and that is only at the beginning. Jutting out into the Bristol Channel, Burnbeck Pier in Western Supermare is in urgent need of restoration. Its timbers are rotting, the buildings that once housed amusement arcades, derelict and unsafe. Only the lifeboat station is still in use. Now it's got a new owner, a man born in Weston with a fast car, big ideas and the promise of big money to put them into action. James Scott, former carpenter turned property developer, bought the pier at the weekend for £400,000 and today he showed me round his pet project. Well, I think that we should try to put Western Supermare back on the map, and I think this is a good place to start. I think that um, the pier's been in disrepair for too long now, and it's part of my heritage, and I want to put it back straight. The great two-listed pier was built in 1867 at the height of the Victorian craze for the seaside. Once it was crowded with attractions which attracted the crowds. But by the time the Beatles visited in 1963, their fame was rising just as its was declining and it closed 20 years ago. Mr Scott isn't put off by its distance from the town's main pier and wants to cover the end with an extraordinary steel and glass building housing 60 flats, a motor museum and ice rink. The building that I've designed looks like the sort of thing you would expect to see at the end of a pier. It may not be the type of thing you see in the middle of a town centre but if you looked on the drawing you'll see it, it looks fairly pier-like to me. Mr Scott also wants to develop the neighbouring Pier Hotel, the total scheme costing £30 million. And his ideas don't end there. He's even drawing up a plan to enclose Western Bay with a tidal barrage complete with marina. As far as the Pier scheme's concerned, the local council wants to sound encouraging. Anyone that comes forward with a plan to actually, if you like, bring about development, that would guarantee its longer term viability and sustainability. It has to be really good news. Mr Scott's plans are certainly ambitious and likely to be controversial, but he insists they are realistic. He's submitting a planning application this week and hopes to have the whole scheme ready in two and a half years' time. Bob Constantine, ITV West News, Western Supermare. The bright new future for Burnbeck Pier in Western. One, two, three, five.
The new owner of Weston's dilapidated Birnbeck Pier has been showing off his plans to revive it. And it would be fair to say, I think, that they're pretty ambitious. Well, the site's a real eyesore, and over the years, lots of ideas have been put forward. The latest is to transform the Victorian wreck into a space-age visitor attraction. Mark Gibson's been looking at the plans. What would the Victorian engineers who built Birnbeck Pier in 1867 have thought seeing its sorry state today? And what would they make of the plans to build a new glass and steel structure, something like Crystal Palace? The new design will include residential accommodation, an ice rink and shops. I think if it was a financial incentive, I wouldn't be here. Um, I want to make the town uh, turn around from its decline and go back to what it used to be in the 60s and the 70s. I think that, that if we start at this end of the town and work our way around, then that's, that's what I want to do. The Grade 2 listed pier was once packed with amusements, attracting the masses to the seaside. But by the time the Beatles came to town in 1963, it was well past its best. For the last 20 years, it's been closed, simply unsafe, neglected and forgotten. It, it can only be a good thing for Western, you know, it's, it's going to generate more business, it's going to bring more people to the area and that can only be a good thing for the local town and the, the people in it who've got businesses. The new design includes an ambitious monorail that will take passengers out to the island and a £30 million attraction. But will it live up to modern expectations and compete against foreign holidays and draw enough of us back to the seaside? For 138 years, Birnbeck Pier has been one of Weston's landmarks. Now decaying and decrepit, could this project bring it back to life? Well, the council begins considering these proposals at the end of the month, and building could start as early as the summer. Mark Gibson, ITV West News, Burnbeck Pier. One centred around the derelict Burnbeck Pier. It involves what can only be described as an unusual design for a new multi-storey car park. Mark Gibson has been to meet the man with the big idea. Subtle is not a word in Jim Scott's vocabulary. 
Next week, he'll finally become the legal owner of Burnbeck Pier. His £30 million regeneration plan will, if it succeeds, totally change the north end of Weston. But successful visitor attractions need places for people to park. His plan is to build a multi-storey car park nearby. Exploding architectural myths, he wants it to be in the form of a giant ship, HMS Burnbeck. I think, that, I think the Western Supermare has got a kind of a nautical theme anyway, being on the coast, and I don't think a ship would be out of the way next to the, next to the seaside like it is. If it was in the middle of, a, of Reading or somewhere, I'd say that we looked daft, but I think here it looked great. Developing Burnbeck Pier in the way that is planned is certainly going to require a lot of car parking space. And it seems perfectly logical to build something like a multi-storey car park right here. But convincing the good people of Weston that it should be in the form of a giant ship is going to take some persuading. But Jim Scott is used to battling the planners and the doubters. He says his money is where his mouth is, and HMS Burnbeck may be bold, and people will come to appreciate her beauty. Mark Gibson, ITV West News, Weston Supermare. It could change the face of Western Supermare. Plans to build a new car park in Western Supermare were revealed today, and believe me, it's not any old car park. It's in the shape of a cruise ship. It's the idea of a former schoolboy from the town who's now a property millionaire. Well, let's have a look with our business correspondent, Malcolm Frith. The driver of this sports car is on a mission to transform parts of Western Supermare. James Scott has made millions from property developments. Next week, he completes a deal to buy the rundown Burnbeck Pier. But this week, he dropped a bombshell on the seaside town with his latest plan. He wants to transform this sleepy suburb of Western by building this. I think that to give the town a bit of flavour and uh, make people think that they can remember Western Supermare, not just by the, the beautiful seaside and the, and the beach, but they can actually remember it for the car park shaped like a ship as well. If built, it would provide parking for more than 600 cars. If the structure is ever built, then where I am standing now will be exactly there, the bow. As you can see, it dominates the local area. So what do residents think of this unusual idea? Well, it uh, seems awfully uh, out of proportion on a picture, but uh, it's the sort of thing we need around here to rejuvenate the, the older part of Western, I think. And local council planners were today a little amused by such an unusual and imaginative use of one of their car parks. Well, it's a, it's a very interesting idea and certainly would be um, an amazing attraction for Weston, but it's certainly a very interesting concept and we give Mr Scott a uh, 10 out of 10 for innovation. In the coming weeks, North Somerset planners will consider the ship-shaped car park along with Mr Scott's ambitious plans to spend £60 million covering the old Victorian Burnbeck Pier with a glass house containing flats, shops, restaurants and sports facilities. Malcolm Frith, BBC, Points West. <laughs> Certainly a bit different.